guys, it's Angie with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and Andrew and I came up with a little fridge magnet, and we wanted to share that with you today, um, or a file cabinet, metal desk, anywhere you can stick a magnet, locker. Um, I don't have the magnet on here yet, I'm just down to the little teeny tiny, um, let's show you here. to these little guys and although it would probably work um, I really don't want to attempt that right now so I don't have a magnet on it just yet I thought I had more than these but apparently not so we're gonna wait to put the magnet on so it, this starts out with um, a felt beef and then some different embellishments and I have some stuff out and some stuff already die cut to save a little bit of time, but um, I just thought I'd show you guys the process that I went through to um, create this little magnet for a special friend. Okay guys, let's jump into it here and I'll show you what I used. I'll set this one up here for now. And so the base of it is one of these felt leaves from the Dollar Tree four different styles. Um, the first one I used was this leaf down here and I'm going to use the red leaf from up here. I probably could have used a different color but I didn't. Um, the pumpkins I used were from the wooden stickers and I used a regular orange one and then a plain wood one on that one. For this project I'm using both um, plain wood ones because we're going to color them. For my dies that I used on that, they are the Rococo dies from Tonic. Um, I have three different ones. The Berry Sprig, the Mistletoe Sprig, and the Fern Leaf, if you're interested in those. I'll hang those back up before they go on the floor. So we are starting with our leaf. And that's what we're going to build on. And I have a larger pumpkin and a smaller pumpkin. <clears throat> now to color, I have some of our other goodies here that I'm going to attempt to use on here. Um, to color the pumpkins. Um, 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 what color do I want to go with this time? Grab a brush here and I don't know how well this will show up. I'm going to try the mustard seed. Where's my scrap paper? There we go. I'm going to try this on the little one. Make sure there's anything on this little brush. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I'm just winging this. I have some things, like I said, already pre-cut, but I'm going to go through the process with you. It may take 20 minutes. It may take a half hour. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> okay. So I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that out. Um, I have carved pumpkin, but I'm going to go with the spiced marmalade. And I still have the foam dots on the back of these two, so that's kind of help holding that down. I didn't clean my brush either, so. I do a finger dauber this color. I might switch up to that. I don't have one in yellow. I need to get some more. And... So we've been working on our craft room while I'm coloring away here. And hopefully I can get some pictures up to you guys that um, can see what we've been working on. 
if you're interested anyway. Um, it's been a process for sure. I think I'm going to go back to that yellow for the center of this one. did take on this one, I did go over the edges of the pumpkins with some vintage photo. You can maybe see that a little bit in the camera light, I'm not sure. So I'll take that over these ones as well. I'm going to do the stems in the... I don't know if I'm going to do vintage photo or go darker and do the walnut. I think I might go darker and do walnut on this one, just to see the difference. Put my inks back so they're not falling over. We have a, what was a cassette tape holder. If any of you are old enough to remember what a cassette is. It probably holds, let me see, one, two, three, six, about 60 cassettes is what it would hold. And each one of those slots holds one of these distress inks absolutely perfectly. So, that was an upcycle for us. Okay, I actually like the walnut on there a little better. Wash that out here in a little bit. <clears throat> My brown dauber out here to do the edges. Yeah, I like that better. It's a little darker, a little more dimension. I like that. Just that little bit of rustic. These wood pieces take color so easy. Um, this distress inks, um, acrylic paints, watercolor. Um, you can use just about any medium one. You could color them with markers, or you could leave them plain for that matter. That's how I'm going to do mine. Pop that back on the shelf. And. Okay. Now, I like to keep laying these down to um, see how I'm building. Now, I don't have any more of the little brown butterflies. So, I pulled out some metal embellishments. And I'm thinking I may go with this flower. I'm not sure. Here's the same dies I used in the other. I kind of build it up dry and then go back and glue as I finally get a placement that I like. I did cut my sentiment out already. Just heat emboss that. Hmm. I don't know. I think I kind of like that, actually. Let's see what this leaf looks like here. Nope. I think I like the flower. I thought about coloring these with some alcohol ink, but I think I kind of like that flower there, honestly. Those are my little dish to put back in the drawer. And what kind of alcohol mixatives do we have? I 
Now we have silver. That's blending solution. Nah, I'm just going to leave it as is. I thought about coloring it with some alcohol ink, but I'm going to leave it as is. <clears throat> now I did lay out some wire here as well. I didn't know if I wanted to make some little curly cues or not. Take my pokey tool here and just wrap the wire around the pokey tool. Give myself a little corkscrew. I'm going to cut this off to save it for something else, but I'm not going to use that on here. So I think it's got, yeah, I think it's got plenty of other stuff going on right now that I'm just going to keep that for another project. And I do have these little Nouveau gems. And I think I'm going to pop that down there in the middle. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the camera right here because of one thing I forgot was to heat up the glue gun. Because I'm definitely going to use it on this piece. So we're not waiting for glue to dry. So I will be right back when the gun's hot. Okay, we have glue. get an extra one out just in case. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to move that. We're going to move that. I'm just going to put some glue underneath these since they're laying where I'd like them to lay. slap a glob there to attach our big pumpkin to. Ah, uh, crud. Put that down a little too tight. Oh, there we go. And can wedge it in there. Alright. <clears throat> I already glued the gem on. I used some um, Gorilla Super Glue on that. Just to be certain it's going to stay. Hmm. Trying to look at that upside down and not quite working. So. Bend these up a little bit. Try to coax this flower in. And I'm trying to shape the flower around the pumpkin. And hopefully not bend the or break the petals off. second to grab. Okay, now we just have our little baby pumpkin. And I think we're gonna place him right there. And I did not take the foam tabs off the back. I could have, but I can give it a little extra dimension. Okay. So there we go. That simple. Some embellishments 
felt leaf and a magnet for the back or you could even use um clothespin actually I just thought of that um, sitting here so we have one that's some shimmery cardstock and a flower and a shimmery butterfly and some more muted pumpkins okay guys hopefully you got some inspiration from that and we will see you with the next video take care guys have a great day bye bye